Welcome back to the show. Uh, Fiend without a face. That's what we're watching tonight. And uh, we are watching it with Jonathan David, but he stepped away for a moment because uh, Tangela insisted he cannot be here. When we do mail, you know, I think she thinks he's, she's going to get a gift. And if there's somebody else there, that they will take her gift. That's my theory. I could be wrong. Interesting theory. So our guest, he's, he's an interesting guest, don't you think? <coughs> uh, in, in, indeed. Mm. Yeah, I, I do not know why he lacks any enthusiasm for our guest. He's such a Star Trek fan. And here we have somebody from the original show, and he's like all scoffy, scoffy. Anyways, uh, mail time. You send us mail. If we don't read the mail, then uh, people become angry at us. And, and it so. won't get read. And they won't get read. So uh, how about some mail, Mr. Livingston? Eileen Doherty. Eileen Doherty from San Francisco, I assume. Uh, subject, love you guys. As a native San Franciscan, my earliest memories are of Creature Features and Chilladilla. You know, I keep hearing about this Chilladilla thing. I've never seen it. I've never heard of it, actually. Was that, did they show that here, Tom? Chilladilla? Yes, they did. Channel they did. Two. Channel oh, 2. Saturday. Oh, all right. Well, I was not here. I'd watch with my cool aunt who gave me TV dinners. Vince, you're awesome and handsome. Oh, I told you. Tangela, absolutely adorable. And Mr. Living is handsome and sophisticated. He already read the note. He knew it was coming. That's why the nose went up in the air. As do you all perfectly. I wonder where in Germany Mr. Livingston lived. Yes. I don't wonder, she wonders. I wonder where in Germany Mr. Livingston lived. Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Always? Not always. So, name another place. Bavaria. Name another place. She says she lived there in Heidelberg. Have you ever lived in Heidelberg? I have not lived in Heidelberg, but I've been there many times. Well, I've been there many times, but that doesn't, it's not the same. You never lived there. No. All right. Uh, I lived there mainly in Heidelberg for over five years. XOXO to you all. What does that mean? Love and kisses. Love and kisses? Is, oh, that's a nice way to write it. Eileen Doherty from, I assume, San Francisco. Thank you for writing, Eileen. Next up, sir. Perry Como? The Perry Como. I don't think so. Different spelling. You know, I, I like it when crooners write to us. No, it's nice. Tangella likes crooners, right? Don't you? How are you, love? What'd you do to your doll? Oh, it's got glasses. That, that adds a lot. That makes it pretty. <coughs> uh, okay, so uh, Perry Como in Canada. I don't think it's the same Perry Como. I don't think so either. We'll find out. Maybe he could send us a tape of him singing if it is. Uh, Vincent, you are a lovely riot. And proper suitor of a horror host for Creature Features. I saw whatever happened to Aunt Alice and decided to start a collection of old and unique coins. Happy to be a Patreon of your show. Well, thank you for that. By the way, can you and the gang check out if The Evil from 1978 is available? Teenage kids will love it. And it has a somewhat happy ending concerning the basement. You know, uh, I was looking at our list of possibilities and that is on that list. So you might see that here in the not so distant future uh thank you usa love canada perry coma well thank you so much perry and uh send us a tape of you crooning if you would next up mr living robert coleman from dayton ohio gesundheit oh, goodness robert coleman dayton ohio my my name is robert i'm from dayton ohio this is my first time writing in. I watched every week for at least the last year and a half, and I've been watching often since I recognized your show as was on my local access channel. I grew up watching Dr. Creep, The Cool Ghoul, and of course, Creature Features in the 70s. In your intro, there is a clip from a movie I am trying to find out about that is called Phantom of the Paradise. You know that clip, the part of the clip of the yes. 70s, right? Mm -hmm. Starring Paul Williams. I saw this movie when I was in L.A. in 1974 when it came out, and I have not seen it since. I would very much appreciate if you could show this movie. Thanks again, and enjoy watching your show. Stay spooky. Robert Coleman, Dayton, Ohio. Uh, okay, Robert. So uh, that movie is one that we quite possibly can get. However, I will not run that movie until I have Paul Williams himself sitting in this seat. 
I know, I refuse to do that film without Paul Williams present. Is yeah. he still available? Yes. Uh, well, I don't know if he's available. He, he's not responded to any of our calls, but he is still alive, ah. which is... Important. Halfway important to the whole guest thing. So uh, we will hopefully run that one day, and hopefully we will run it with Paul in tow, and I'm going to make him play the piano. No, he's a, he's a master. The I'm piano. told he's quite good. No, he wrote all the carpenter tunes. The carpenter. Thanks for writing, sir. Steve Luckett from Mobile, Alabama. Last one from Steve Luckett, Mobile, Alabama. Hey, Vincent, I have a movie suggestion. It's about a horror host who bores his audience to death, decides to retire, and leaves the USA to drink tea on the English countryside for the rest of his life. I think the movie is called Steve's Luckiest Day. Yours truly, Steve Luckett, Mobile, Alabama. Uh, I think he's trying to send me a message here. I think he did send you well, a message. You know, I, I, I don't know what to say, but uh, I hope the weather's lovely in Mobile, Steve. What is it with guys named Steve are so, such an angry lot? They seem to be. No, I don't know what's, what's up with that. In any case, uh, that is it for mail. Uh, we're going to get back to the movie in a moment. Uh, if you'd like to send us mail of your own, though, send uh, by email to this address over here. Or if you'd like to send a package in the mail or a letter by post with a stamp, send it to the address you see right here. We'll be back with uh, Jonathan soon. See you soon. Hey, Vincent, this is Chris from Melbourne, Florida. Just wanted to share a message. You have a wonderful show. We enjoy it immensely. Uh, me and my wife, Victoria, keep up the great work. And uh, tell Tangela and Mr. Livingston, they're great as well. Take care, man. God bless. <laughs>